All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Over 70 years ago, when the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights in Paris, the international community proclaimed the inalienable rights of all human beings and vowed never to allow atrocities like those of the Second World War to happen again. By doing so, states committed to protect the rights of every person on their territory, including foreigners, smuggled migrants or victims of trafficking. Smuggled migrants and victims of trafficking are more vulnerable to human rights violations because of the particular situation they are in. They may be subjected to serious abuse and exploitation by the smugglers or traffickers who control their situation. They are also usually in an irregular situation whereby they are afraid to approach local authorities and ask for protection when being in fear of deportation. Yet they are entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth through the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Their rights are confirmed in the Protocol Against the Smuggling of Migrants and emphasized in the Protocol Against Trafficking in Persons. Trafficking in persons is recognized by all as a serious crime that constitutes a grave violation of human rights. To victims of this crime, states are therefore obliged to provide adequate assistance and protection. Additional rights apply to specific persons. For example, children and refugees who may both be smuggled or trafficked should benefit from special protection measures such as housing, healthcare or education. Migrants who are smuggled across borders are not considered as victims per se. Nevertheless, thousands of migrants die every year during smuggling activities. They are also particularly vulnerable to other crimes such as kidnapping for extortion, rape, but also to discrimination and ill-treatment, including from state and non-state agents. Smuggled migrants themselves are often considered as offenders and denied appropriate protection of their rights, assistance and access to justice when they are victims of aggravated smuggling. Hence it is essential to look at their specific situation to ensure that also their rights as human beings, refugees, children or victims are fully protected. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedom without distinction of any kind, such as race, colour, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth or other status. If you would like to know more on the rights of smuggled migrants and victims of trafficking, UNODC has developed two university modules on the subject. These tools, which are part of a series of 14 modules, aim to provide academics with a practical orientated tool to teach different topics related to smuggling of migrants and trafficking in persons. Would you like to know more on the differences and commonalities between trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants? Gender in the context of trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants? How children are affected by smuggling and trafficking? Please visit www.unodc.org/e4j